Last year, farmers were wishing for rain, and this year we've got too much. It's stunting their crops. We just kept <laughs> crossing our fingers that the rain would stop, and we just kept checking the weather, and there was more rain and more rain. But Carrie Mess's dairy farm doesn't stop for the weather, though it doesn't run without her corn and alfalfa crop either. And that's our cow chow. But the wet weather is creating more than just muddy fields. All that moisture, the weeds grow great, the corn struggles, and the bugs are just crazy. And it's been too wet to spray insecticide on these rows of feed. Our cows would really like to eat that, not the bugs, so we had to, had to take some measures to, to help. A measure flying just feet above the crops. We get a lot more done in a day than they can, and uh, we don't make a big mess in the muddy fields, <laughs> so we can get in there and get the job done when they can't. Hiring a helicopter to spray Carrie's fields costs almost double what ground treatment does, but this year's weather didn't leave her many options. Couldn't really say no. Um, it's that or not have a crop for our animals to eat. If they can't get to it, the bugs will get it, and that's where we come in and save their crop. And some time. They came in and I think they did all the fields we need to have done in about an hour. And since they can't change Mother Nature, farmers here in southeastern Wisconsin will have to continue to change the way they respond to her by going to new heights. In East Troy, Jesse Ritka, today's TMJ4.